Welcome, welcome back. It has been a long break, but time for the action is here. Or is almost at Arena Bulls, but that was last game. Endpoints versus Skade on the sunny steps of Dust 2, my favorite map, of course. My name is Strong Legs. This right here is Seaside. We'll be bringing you the action. But this is the final match of this week. I think, I think by the end of this week, by the beginning of next week, we will have a pretty good idea of who will be advancing to the playoffs, who will be getting featured on HLTV, of course. For now, let's hop in the server and get this action started. We've been waiting long enough. Yeah, Roy, endpoint, that English mixed team, Skade. Uh, what more can you say about these guys, right? Spelling, rocking, Denny's Law. Three players who've been playing out of their minds for Skade. Go up against Endpoint, who had, uh, I believe last time we saw them, it was Overpass. Had a bit of a, a dually map there. Um, but it looks like, am I losing my mind? Or is there a couple players from Endpoint that aren't here that were here last time? I think you might be right. Right? It looks different. And I don't Max know. Pulse for sure are, are still the same players. Yep. That's not. That's a different Robin. Robin. This is a different Robin, okay. It's, this is the same Robin, yeah. But as far as that goes, I don't notice DH or Safi J. I don't remember saying those names last time. Safe. Yeah, I'm not safe, sure. Yeah. yeah, I think safe is. Yeah, I have to, to double check my sources on this one. I'm on it, Roy. Never mind, I'm not on it. Completely different ro roster listed on HLTV. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll figure it out throughout this match, but for now it is endpoint grouping up towards lower. They got fresh skins, and they're looking for that fast up mid straight towards the B, it seems like. But actually, just all the ruse. They want to go up cap, but no one's really taking the bait. He doesn't even hear this information to, f to even take the bait. Yeah, there, there's nothing for them to, you know, believe that they are going mid. The teams will push up now, one of which including a, a Duke and a Stark. And they will fight against Rocky. And Raftu still towards Long. Can he get one more? He can. Two for him. It's Mighty Max and Pulse. As Mighty Max comes back for this 1v1 against Denny's Law towards mid. It's the play, but can he connect the bullets? He can't. As he fades on back. Raftu. Trying to take a fight with one of these players. Catwalk just missing ever so slightly. Will connect with his third. One bullet remaining. And it's just Mighty Max Roy. Plan for him, but taken care of. Raf 2. Just tap, tap, tapping away. For the 4K as well. I mean, the man just beast. He single handedly just turned this round around for Skate. No doubt about it. Now, I am curious to see what Endpoint will do here. They are in a position for the full Galil armor. And they even have Mighty Max with a potential SG light armor. No, he doesn't. But they are going to go for the full blown Galil Force Buy. All right, we're seeing some early adopters finally, Keith. Of course, the Famosas are out to play as well. Only a single one for rocking. Not too shabby. Double MP9. Waker and Spellin. And they do have a scout, though, for endpoint. Now, uh, this is this is really smart by endpoint, right? Slow things down. Let Skade use their limited utility. They know they're working with limited amounts. And rocking, he'll be the first contact here towards the mid, but he's playing safe right now, and he does have the flashbang potential from Rain Waker if he can get there early enough. Now Rain Waker is starting to shift over. Be rocking, finding one kill from behind onto Robin. There it is. The flashbang comes off. That's gonna blind the save perfectly. And give an opportunity for rocking, but a two for one deal. That's not bad. Plus 50 damage, more than 50 damage done to Mighty Max. That leaves Endpoint in an awkward situation here with not with barely it, and they just lost on top of that. Oh, things are getting brutal. Just D8, and well, it'll remain brutal. The upgrades to the Galils happen for Skade, so it's all rifles, baby. As Endpoint will be stuck on a save. Skade will get up to a 3 0, which used to be the normal when you went pistol right, but man, how we have come a far away since then. Yeah, absolutely. Now it's gonna be just Eagles for Endpoint. They're not gonna go for much. Mighty Max looking for the 1D down mid. Rain Waker does get into a really dangerous position. Now he has actually no escape from here. Unless he goes up for B. Actually, if he just sprints it out, he's fine. Oof.
Okay. Easy cleanup. Four kills. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Four players alive. Skate. 3 0 lead. Not too shabby. That economy is looking kind of nice right now. And. NV Pup. Uh, this is a via one, so it's voted down to just two. It's neither team's picks. I kind of dig some of these CT models, though. They got hats on. Yep. That's cool. Again, I think players are going to find out which ones seem bigger, right, graphically, which ones show a bit more, which ones maybe a bit more skinny. Um, but, you know, same hitboxes. The, someone's rocking the Roy skin with that, that hair and a... Yep, the man yeah, bun beard. The man bun, yep. I like it. Nice flash towards Cat. Safe. Going to force back Denny's lot. So Raph 2, well timed smoke here on long. I think Endpoint are gonna force it. Yeah, out the shot, Raph 2 caught out, headshot, and no flash was even over for Endpoint, so I was completely blind. Well, no pun intended, like, not literally. But like a blind run through. There's Robin, we'll get a second on the round. Fell in smoke, the smoke, good for one. Looking for damage, but it's Pulse to bring this back. And Rain Waker, this would be a bit crazy. Yeah, and you can just see that he's shuffling between decisions. Like, do I try to go for the Molotov kill? Do I just go out dry here and hope I cast somebody off guard? But their positioning right now, it might just be way too difficult for Rain Waker to handle. So he is just going to backing on out of there. Now, with the money that they have, buying is no problem. But endpoint, three players alive, answering back beautifully on the first gun round. That's solid work. Actually, it's not even the first gun round, considering four Galils is considered a full gun round. Second gun round. They got the op though. Oh. Terrorists win. Well, end point. It seemed like. Surprise was kind of their biggest power that round, Roy. Coming out, finding Graph 2, then just snowballing out onto the A site. A lot of times with that long player perishing, it comes down to the cross, and Endpoint had it for free. DH with the Krieg, which is still so strong and worth it on a map like Dust 2, Train. Those two maps specifically. The DH makes it worth, gets a kill, falls off. A little bit of chip damage in response from Skade, but they need a play, they need to make one. Yeah, and you can tell Dennis Law and his teammate are starting to take things into their own hands on Cat as well. They're going for the boost. It's not going to bear any fruit this time around, but Endpoint has some serious control towards long A right now. Not only that, but it's going to open up Robin for the lurk potential. Coming out mid, killing those rotators and spawn, but it maybe it won't matter. Safe will respond back. Safe finds himself the second one, decimating the A defenses, leaving Skeleton all by himself. And Rain Waker is there to look at the beast. Now he's to shine, but he's only good for one. Planning on top of the psych box. Rain Waker. Well, gonna try to save. Also, I'm curious if you get, can you defuse the bomb from below its height, Roy, or do you must be looking down on I think you can defuse upwards. Yeah, because that one seems so planted enough on the edge that you might be able to defuse it from ramp. I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing. No, I see exactly what you're seeing. That, that would be cheeky, wouldn't it? I guess like the only downside to planting there is you kind of explodes when you are planting. Yeah, but it does seem like a, a pretty good plant spot. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna try it out, even though I never played Dust 2, because... Oh, map. It, but we won't talk about that. Because you don't like the best map in the pool. It's fine, it's understandable. Yeah, exactly. This map just has, like, unquestionably very sound and logical decisions in it, so it's... Yes. Can't help but feel like it's the best map. These skins look badass, though. Look at Spellin' skin. He looks like a full-blown SWAT squad. Special operations. He looks chunky. He looks like a big boy, Roy. Someone who wouldn't take much to headshot him. Raph 2 will be the first to get headshotted. Rain Waker, with the saved gun, was playing towards long with no one coming. I think he's going to rotate the cat and try to make a play there. Good job using utility to force rocking out. Safe should realize that smoke, that molly came from the only player with a rifle. And it looks like Endpoint is just going to charge up Cat. Loaded Rain Waker, no, if he hung around, he would have had those players coming towards him just like he. Nah, 
it. The Rainmaker is the only person who probably has a say in the round, but he's instantly dealt with. And of course, then it's being slithered on and lurked on by Pulse. So it is going to be end point. Evening things up at 3 to 3. Now Skate's time to shine again. Their economy has recovered and it will be a buy. Now, this is a pretty standard default key. Nothing really crazy yep. here for endpoint. They have a player keeping tabs on long, keeping up the pressure. They have safe along with his teammates towards lower. He's there to pop flash them, giving them some information, get him some control towards the other side of the double doors. And but there's a problem here. Dennis Law is waiting for them around the corner, but he will miss his shot. He has information that there is presence there at least for now. Lurk smoke with a safe molly on towards site. And point may just consider shuffling back towards middle. Rocking lays in wait. No utility whatsoever to use, Roy. The FAMAS effect. Utility gets thrown towards mid. Rocking time. Smoke. One. Needs more. Escaping will do. And he just got caught. Lost in the sauce. Lost in the smoke. All on spelling. Can he get more than one? Can he even get one? Goomba. That's it. And they're going to save. Good luck retaking B. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, retaking B, never a fun, uh, never a fun proposition. Yeah, they're gonna give it up. This is the right decision, and you have a good loss bonus. Save these weapons, drop some Famasas over next round. Try your luck again, but it's it's always really difficult, right? As soon as as soon as you lose that B site early, it's you instant call, right? Save, like you don't really have much of a choice. Endpoint, though, I have to admit, they're doing a really good job right now, and they kept four players alive here. They have so much cash. Now, this is a good timeout, right? Discuss what, what's happening. You've, you've closed out three rounds early. Now you just seem to be kind of struggling, right? You can't get any rounds back in your favor. You're unable to defend against any of their, their strats, really. And it seems like Endpoint is varying it enough that it's almost hard for Skate to really be on top of any sort of proactive decisions, right? They're constantly playing reactionary. Do they buy here? Mm -hmm. They have an AK, they have an M4, they have an op. Too easy for moss drops, guys. No, they're just gonna go for the save and go for the full buy next round. I don't actually mind this decision. Let's see how it works out. Robin. One more flash for his teammate to swing on this long. And Rain Waker's gonna get baited for by Rocking. This position can be quite strong. Rocking, hang on to that. Smoke. Or excuse me, maybe. I don't know if they're gonna clear it. They will actually. The Molly, they know it didn't go deep enough. Spelling. Going with a flash. They're all blind spelling. Take your time. But he sprays down one. Raph 2. Trying to force the issue here. And they all fall. They all come crumbling down as it's spelling alone. And they know he was CT. They see his shin. And that's enough to get the kill. Skade. One of the aggressive. The aggressive peaks, Roy. And it gets smacked down. Here we go. Time out again. Now, this is something else they haven't really tried yet. The double op setup. That actually could be the key. That could be what they need for the defenses here. Endpoint is playing slow enough where you, excuse me, at least are opening up some opportunities for skate to find picks, right? But right now, it seems like Endpoint is in the full driver's seat. They have so much money left over still. Oh, this is a best of one, by the way, everyone in the chat. I know you guys have been asking. This is best of one. Winner's League is all best of ones until playoffs, and then we'll be on HL TV and best of threes make sure to follow that way you know when that happens too just saying just throwing that out there yeah absolutely follow the winners league
Well. We have a pause. Because apparently, Roy, DH's dog cage broke. And it fell on his head. On the player's head or the dog's I, head? I don't have clarification on that. Oh, no. But uh, that is all I know. But uh, apparently it doesn't matter because we're going live. And we're trying to pause again. But it's not going to happen. Everything's fine. Okay. It's going to be action towards long gate early on. Allows endpoint some pressure, but it seems like Rocking and Raptor have just pushed through and they've established their control towards long. Now, this is something that Skate has kind of been doing incorrectly, right? They've been giving up long control. I, mean, I said giving up, but I said long control being taken away from them. Then his lot finds himself in a really awkward duel. He does keep his life for now, but yeah, they, they were losing long A control and they were losing short A control and constantly falling for the, you know, the cardinal sin of Dust 2, right? You can't lose both of those simultaneously. Now it's going to be a reroute back to B. Solo defender here, of course, Rainmaker's on the other side of the door, so he's almost there instantly, but Spellin will be the first contact with the op. Spellin, Death Robin, Rainmaker, coming in, and he'll spray down Free Roy. What a play with that M4 is DH. Dog cage and all. Maybe that's what DH stands for. Well, that doesn't make much sense. As Rainmaker will take him down. 5 4. As Rainmaker gets 4. Okay. I mean, it didn't, didn't make sense, but you know what? You sounded cool doing it. And Actually, dog cage on head. EA. <laughs> I'm still not, <laughs> it's not you know? clear what that means, but okay. Okay. Safe. Already picked for endpoint once again. This long control has been definitely a problem for this game. This time, though, they're willing to hold on to it to the death, but they're still a man down. Now, nah, Zenith's lost time to shine again. This is another round where he misses that opening pick potential. This back could have been right there, but he will be overwhelmed by DH, even with the cage on the dog's head. Shots come raining in, Roy. Winker, they're trying to fight off to save their guns here, is Skade. They're going to try to take long doors, clear that out, make sure that's clear. By, are they going to come back for this now? They just wanted to make sure that was clear. Now they're going to come back. I thought they were saving Roy. They used so much utility towards long. Robin gets Rain Waker. Raftu should only be good for one. This bomb has ticked so far down. Yeah, that's going to be that. I, I don't know what gave them that insecurity of clearing long that much. There's a fine balance between paranoia and necessary amounts, you know? There's a balance. Right, yeah, you can't be too diligent sometimes, especially when time is ticking, right? It's kind of the pressure of the bomb is you have to be diligent, but you can't, you don't really have the time to be. Once again, save for the proper flashbangs coming out from Pulse, finds himself the early pick again on long. This has been quite a problem for them. This time, the long gate control is decimated, destroyed. Someone in chat, how do I say destroyed and run? That's a good question. Let's see if we get an answer. And Pulse working up long. Pulse lovely shot on rocking. And it seems like Skate are just having a rough go of things. This is a T-sided map though. So five, six, seven rounds ideally for Skate. But you know what? They'll take... I think. I don't even think you can be mad CT side dust too. With the way the money is and the Kriegs are uh, with five, six rounds. I don't even think you'd be too upset. It's just so, yeah. Again, this is one, we're in the most T sided meta probably that we have ever been in. Two, this is the most T sided map in the map pool. So it's like double whammy right there if you're on the CT side. Mm -hmm. Five rounds, six rounds is a phenomenal finish if you're the CT side. Anything above that really is a bonus. 10 rounds though, 11 rounds T side, that's when things start to get kind of dicey, right? You leave a lot of pressure and room for the pistol round to be successful. At that point, you're really just gambling away from the final few rounds. For now though, they have control towards short A. Their long control has not worked out, but it's shaping up to be a B hit. The one for one trade in upper B. It's not even a one for one trade, it's literally just the opener. 
straight three bomb sites, he might be max in the middle by himself. Then it's like rocking, looking to salvage the round, but safe once again. This man is a beast right now. I feel like this meta is Opera's Paradise, Keith. There's so many Famas and Galils now. Yeah. Gonna be able to find Denning's Law 8 now. Skate. I don't even think they can just buy a buy here unless it's one of the Famasas, right? Gonna go with pistols again. Endpoint gives them a really good chance for 9. And I'd say 8 9 T side is a really good half. Um, you've achieved what you've set out to do. Uh, I'm assuming they they nine for sides, Roy, and I think I'm point to T sides, so this is exactly how they wanted it to go. And I don't know why I'm saying assuming. I know they knife for sides, Roy. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, def definitely definitive knife for sides. Now it's long gate control once again against pistols with SGs. Oh. What the Raffi tries his luck through the smoke, not quite successful. Now there's serious pressure coming up the ramp. Pulse. Just decimating him, Rocky spawned back with the second 1D, but he is eliminated after all. Spelling and Rain Waker going for the boost. Spots one. And the totem pole got That'll do. That'll do. End point look for double digits on T side does too, Roy. That'd be pretty good. Above average. Gage. I'm gonna take the fight towards long here. Mighty Max is trying to support DH. And honestly, DH will take his one. Even if he gets traded, he'll have to commit something else. And you know what? He won't even get traded. Safe dies the opposite side of the map. That's two friend points here. The flash misses. DH is gone. Another missed utility from Endpoint and Spellin's close. Can he cut them all down? He can't. But <laughs> Denny's Law's got his back. That was so crazy. And Endpoint really like forcing long. Good on Skade to have quick rotations. And the willingness to fight that after losing that for so many rounds. Yeah, I actually really thought that DH's survivability there might have actually just won them the round because he did a phenomenal job just keeping up that pressure, maintaining control, getting enough time for the cavalry to arrive. But Dennis Law and Spellin, even with Dennis Law, several of the shots. But again, the early pick and long for Endpoint. This is becoming a serious problem now. And it's crazy too, because Endpoint just keeps passing the op, right? Whoever has the spawn, just give him the op. Let him go for the pick. Now it's Dennis Law to respond back. I think he's spotted. He can respond to flashbangs too deep. An instant trade by Pulse. Still yet though, the man advantage for Endpoint. Robin, refrag, round two on the corner. Robin's looking crazy. He is hitting the shots required. It's spelling in a 1v2, and I love this from him so much. No kit, no utility, but he means to be like, hey, my only thing, my only strength, my only bit of utility I have now is my reposition. He's going to come all the way to long with us up, and it's full send with us, Roy. Bellin has a smoke. He has, yeah, he has the kid. That's gonna block off. Wait, no, that's even block off. Spellin though does eliminate DH. He's able to wrap around back. He's afraid of the Molotov picking him. He's gonna stick it though. Robin has light up. He's going for the full spray. One second, less than one second, and Spellin oh. has a 9 6. Okay. Th this is workable, I feel. I feel like this is a pretty standard finish on the T side. It's a. Five and four sandwich for endpoint. Five rounds in a row. One round in between for Skade. Four rounds back for endpoint. All right. See the action now. It's Skade's turn. The Bulgarian boys are on the T side, and they're a very aggressive team. I want to see them bring that action. This is a bit of an unusual split, though, for the pistol. They have two towards long, two towards upper B. They have Dennis Law in middle, still T spawn with utility.
That pop flash has not made him budge a single step here. At any point, he's just going to hold their positioning. You got Pulse keeping eyes on the long A door. He's starting to advance forward. He's in a bit of a tough spot. The flashman comes off. Not affecting him, but he's in the open against three players. No chance for him. It's safe. He turns to shine now. He's good for one, but immediately traded out as well. Now it's Robin's positioning. It's compromised on towards the CT ramp. And there's four players around that A site. And Robin has no choice but to fall back. And the bomb will make its way across. Plants will come in. Quick up cat. Mighty Max. Kush. Don. DH. Same fate. Robin. Tapped. And bye bye. And it also seemed like, by the way, DH's skin. It kind of looks like the dude's like permanently looking away from you. You know what I mean? Let me see. Like when I look at DH, I just it looks like he's not looking at me. That's, oh yeah, I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? It kind of doesn't look like someone looking at. You. Yeah, it looks like you're intently looking for his yeah. model. It's kind of. Oh. Okay. What? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Flip the doors. Think for a kill. So in hands of skate. Hey, he's doing some. There's, this is becoming seriously expensive now. That's the wow. second weapon available. That's an AK and a deal that is recoverable. But okay, two kills on a full eco. That's not bad. Now you're on the buy. You have to decide: Are we going for M4s? Or are we going to adapt to the meta? Pick up a couple from us. Oh, Mighty Max, I love it. Look at that full utility yep. first gun round on the third round. Full utility for DH as well. I mean, this is beautiful. it makes it makes such a difference and stops the T side from running away with things, right? It gives you that utility control. It lets you do the plays you would typically do in a normal rifle. It's beautiful. Mollies have separated these players. They have a player stuck blue bin. Safe, able to get the refrag and give up this long control. In the meantime, Bellin to swing on mid and Mighty Max wins that. He threw the smoke and his FAMAS was ready to shoot in a moment's notice. He'll upgrade obviously to the SG. As Endpoint looked to break double digits very early on. With the one of the first times with the willingness to break out as many FAMAS as they did. This is becoming dicey. A three on three. I still feel like somehow skate is favorable in this one. The only problem is endpoint is kind of leaned over towards that A site, right? They're putting B on retake. You have a player on site, or maybe that's elevator, I'm not too sure. I think it's elevator, yeah, but they still have a player in spawn, so there's two players that could respond instantly to this control coming out from long A. Mighty Max, he's been heard taking the Molotov safe to go live on site. He is going to go for the battle from behind the boxes, but he's not even good for one. Rocking. Far gets Mighty. Can he find Pulse? Tapping away. Last bullet, baby. Pulse is gone. Skade get to nine. And I mean, this is just showing you how good T side is on Dust. We are tied up. Endpoint. They have to make a decision, and the decision will be semi buy. Scout, couple pistols, a little armor, some nades, some smoke. Early pick for Pulse. That's a nice shot. I feel like that tips the balance seriously back in the favor of Endpoint here. You have a lot more room for that Scott to do some tags. You know, even if they're not kills, just a couple tags would go a long way here. Raffi will catch an aggressive safe. A bit off the timing there. A little bit kind of forward for it. Slow down now. And point all the players towards the A side of things right. They're talking to the goose. They're hashing out a plan. And let's see if they can execute it. Mighty Max. The smoke hit him. Oh, oh that's no. so unlucky. Might have been able to just hide in there and come behind them super quick. The smoke hits his foot. Go on Spellin for being aware and listening to that. 
Paul gets naded down. The player Goose gets cleared. And that has to be one of the most unfortunate playouts of a round I've seen in all. Wow, that, that is actually really unfortunate. You're absolutely right. The crazy part is, I forget who it was, but they were actually intently watching the crack on that smoke. And he didn't actually spot Mighty Max getting into that position, which only made it stronger. But unfortunately, that second smoke... That is unlucky. I mean, even Pulse with the scout couldn't get any tags off either to soften them up a little bit for that Goose player. So, all in all, a solid round by Skade. Even, they, even though they lost a man advantage early, now they're going for the long gate control. End point. Skade looking to respond back. The flash is going to come out the doors. They're going to come out through and into the crossfire they go. And it's getting held beautifully from end point. So much so, Skade have packed their bags, and a mid to B split right now would be so deadly. Yes, the quick cat flanks would come in, but if they can find this B player, I don't even know if they can lose the, afford to lose a player. Robin soaring in middle. Two quick kills, a third for Money Max. As he'll shut down that split, and we're tied at tens. Not only that, but Endpoint, they've actually picked up the second op, and now Skade, they are at their final straw in terms of economy. Game can't be said about Endpoint. They're actually a little bit more comfortable now. They're all right. This while looking for the early tag would help a lot, of course, but it will not be found this time around. Now, Endpoint has been playing pretty B, pretty light on B. They've had one player there, usually the other players most of the time towards mid, which is pretty meta, but... There's any sort of B rush if they come on this deep. Now they've eliminated that B rotator. They have an idea. There's only one defender left on that B site. A B split or even just the upper B explode would be prime time right now. But actually, they'll go straight into DH. He gets one pop flash. But he will not get it in time. Safe. Smoke on sight to drop and have a cheeky little one way, or at least half a one way. I'm pretty sure that'd be pretty visible from long. Escade will isolate into a cat split. Smoke elbow, smoke CT, smoke on the corner of cat. Lets them completely come out and not be spotted until they're swinging on sight. Oh. A gap in that, that's so smart. The gap in the smoke specifically for Denny's Law to worry about the cat corner and ramp peak. And it's just so well done from Skate. I love that. They could run that a couple times, and I think it would work at least once more. I actually genuinely don't think Endpoint caught on to what just happened to them. Yeah. I don't think they're aware that there is the one way there. Or that maybe the one way was considered accidental. But either way, that was really well done by Skade. A little... I like it. I'm getting, getting a little sweaty in here, Key. That's what I love. Skate to pull the lead once again. Now, long gate control for endpoint again. They're a team that really is comfortable fighting long on both sides, it seems, right? The CT side, they're fine fighting it. The side, they found so many early picks that... I feel like the half speed was... Ooh, that's a sentence stop right there. Safe, that's a nice click onto rocking. Now, they're looking to explode upper B, Keith, but... I think they're reconsidering their strategy here. And rightfully so. There's three players that could be B quickly. Flash for safe, or from safe. I have to try to get to E box. Yes, so unlucky. I, I'm gonna be honest. Not only is that unlucky for Robin, I'm unsure why you had the felt the need to do that. I think he just heard him going towards long gate. He just wanted to catch the flank quickly. I can't mm. really blame him for that, but that kind of was unlucky though. He was holding that for so long. That's a that's a CSGO. But yeah, you're right. Maybe the timing just wasn't quite right there. Either way, his teammate should have been there to back him up. Now it's a four versus three. And Skade might actually have a fighting chance here if they can make it across to the site. 
They'll drop the smokes. They've left a gap and the spray in from DA is good. A flash could delay them and slow them down. Pulse goes through on it. And he can't swing around. I guess one for ones are ideal here for endpoint. Not perfect, but they'll take it. Concede a plant to Skade. With a Molly smoke retake. Should be dual, but the Molly's off the mark. I don't think that's gonna spread to Rain Waker. It won't. You really just Spelling. have to wait for Mighty Max. Yeah, good kill for Mighty Max, and is. he gets a second. Yeah, beautiful. We have a close game, Roy. Do have a close game. 11 11. It's a shot for shot, it seems. And Skate, they have an all right amount of money. They, they can make this buy work right here. Rain Waker would have to downgrade, so would Rocking to the Galils. But again, very viable weapons. Only problem that I see, though, here, Keith, is that Endpoints actually managed to recover two SGs, and we already know how strong those are on the defense. So this is. This is sort of advantageous for Endpoint here. And if they can claim this round, they actually might officially break the economy for Skate and could pull the lead here. So important round up ahead. Dennis Law looking for the early frag, but just barely off the mark. Minute 30, and Skate looked to come towards Long. With Pulse being on the corner. He's gonna be flashed off. He sprays into it. Down he'll go. End point of lost long control. And what's the response gonna be? Safe. Holly towards mid. Pull towards D box. A good nade throw and it just misses Denny's Law Roy. Now I like the decision here from Endpoint. They lost control towards long, they've lost the man advantage. Safe is actually looking for the cross and he just spotted them going towards that B site so he's probably aware that this is likely ending B and you can see the bomb just instantly headed back towards the A site they realize their their decision has been spotted and read early but uh, this is getting incredibly awkward I feel right endpoint is stuck towards short A they can't really do much off that and they're probably unlikely to win the trades out long and if they can't win the duels quickly on long they just get double flanked on cat this is feels like a check almost from Skade. In, doubles in though. Two for him, right? And the A site is now completely owned. At end point, realize this. Their money has been lowered a little bit on a couple of their players. Skade, I don't know if they can afford to hunt here. Right? It's one of those weird checks and balances where the game is so close. I don't think they can afford. I don't know if you agree, but one gun for one gun would work. But anything more than that, it might just favor him. Yeah, I mean, you're skate right now. You're trying to prioritize your economy by all means. You still want these weapons, but you're not willing to just full W for it, right? It's too, it's too risky. It's too aggressive. But four players alive for skate. I think they're happy with that. And Endpoint still has a really strong loss bonus. So, I mean, as of this point... They can force up FAMASs every round here if they really wanted. But this round, it will be the full buy. So maybe the SG and OP still in hand. Full utility. Mostly full kits across the board. Oh, look how slow that B cross is. If they actually just rush for the B site, they would probably get there at the same time. Now, Skate's already up short eight. In minute 25, barely, they're setting up for the full execute. If this is a fake, they're going to bait all the utility out of Endpoint's hands. But I don't think this is a fake. I think they're willing to fake with this one. Safe, going to be able to get one. Safe comes through the smoke or over the zop. Hits a shot on rocking. Rain Waker catches Mighty Max as he tried to come up cat with what would have been a beautiful flank. And Skate realizing... Or thinking that was the B player, right? Or the mid player that pushed through. They're hoping B would be free, but Safe has enough time to get here and hold cross and try to help Pulse here, who gets overlooked. One for Pulse. Can he get two? Yes, the shadow works in his favor, and we will go back and forth. Safe should shut this down. Denny's Law will creep in. And boom, shot hit. 12-12.
I, I can't help but feel that Dennis Law is a little cold this game, right? He's missed so many opportunities to find advantages for his team. He just can't. This is kind of uncharacteristic almost of him. He's usually the, the kind of the opera that's on point, right? This time, it seems like he's every opportunity he has to find an advantage or kill a rotator or get an opening frag. He's just a little off the mark. A little bit off. Now endpoint, they managed to tie it up 12 to 12. Economy is kind of awkward here for Skate. They can force up a Galil for Rain Waker, but Rafty would be on EZ, EZ250 maybe. No, they're going to go for it. They're going to go for the full rifle buy. The scout is dropped over. Okay, not a bad buy. Double AK, single SG, uh, scout for the early tags and this cross from mid. They got Raftu on the entry with a P250 and a little bit of utility as well. It's manageable, but of course, definitely not comparable to what Endpoint has, which is double op and an SG with full utility and kits. This is going to be a grind in this round, I feel, for Skate here. Like, I wonder what the Bulgarian boys will, will do with this kind of buy that they have. Spraying through the smoke, tags up safe right. Raft two taking, finding the bullet, going down to P250. Mighty Max has spell it. Pulse gets dealt with rocking with a spinning one tap and it takes Seth, saves head off. Endpoint, have to save and skade, make it happen. And rocking, rocking is going for more. Robin, I'm open? surprised he stuck around. He's, he's the yeah. Wow, what a round. I honestly did feel like they were going to win that one considering how it started, but Rocking just destroys them out middle. Huge. Enough pop flashes on B were actually really on point for the Bulgarian guys, so that was solid work, and they actually draw the lead once again, but now Endpoint find themselves in a much different scenario. Their loss bonus is kind of just barely over the surface of what they need to, to scrape out of buy here, I think. I I I don't know if they do. Th oh, I mean, this is Robin weird, right? Because Robin could drop the op. Yeah, buy, an buy an M4 or a Fanny and drop it, right? I don't. But yeah, this is doable. Totally doable. Dave? All right, he's gonna go for the glass cannon. So they are gonna go for the double op, but they have no kit this time, and Pulse actually did not buy any or any utilities. That's, that's a little strange. A lot of that utility that Endpoint did have has been used up to defend against this long A control, which now is in control of Skade. This is this is fast long A control. Key. Now they pretty much control the defenses on the A site. They know that Endpoint's on short A, most likely. It's a matter of what will we do yep. around this information, right? What will we do around this knowledge that we have of this setup? This is where the double option immediately come into effect, right? One of these ops should find a pick somewhere. It's dust two. Flash them long, boost them sight. The ops need to take advantage of this before it's too late. And now that Skater closing the gap, the double ops are, might run out of effect here. Skate, drop the smokes, wait for the counter utility. Now they'll take Cat. DH whiffs. He goes down with his new model. Drain Waker comes up. Cat. Rocking's gonna entry. Double it in as Robin gets served. A dish has served cold from the side. And it's safe to save the glass cannon. No pun intended. But this is 14 for Skate. I thought, you were, I thought you were gonna say it's safe to say this round is over, but you know what? You missed a chance, Keith. Roy, sometimes <laughs> I really don't think. I kind of just say things. Wow, you're my spirit animal. And then I deal with the consequences. And well, Endpoint dealing with the consequences now, Keith. It's down to this the scout upgraded pistols, a set of armor for Robin. That's it. That's all they have with that nade. Okay. It's a good start to the round, I'd say. But still, serious firepower difference right now between both these teams. And everyone who was saying 3 2 2 earlier for Skate is uh, looking a little, uh, a little silly right now, wouldn't you say, Keith? I agree. Shame on you, chat. Shame on you. I condemn you all. Now, Skate's in full control of this round, even though they don't really have any control anywhere on the map yet. Just P250 
patiently waiting. The numbers are spread in grand point. They had two towards B. He thought it was coming for him. Up two. Catch is safe. Robin gets tagged in the meantime. As Rainwalker, I'd like to see him throw that gun up, cat, shoot it into a corner. Don't leave that gun down. That just might be. They look to push for 15, Roy. And they're looking more and more successful. And it should be, that should do it, right? That might just tap it in. Economic damage at this point is irrelevant, really, for Skade. Terrorists win. It's all good. Skade. 15 to 12 match point three rounds for the attempt to friend point if they hold on for three rounds They will bring it into overtime and this is three attempts for skate They have a good amount of money left over which means that even if they lose two rounds in a row I think they probably will be eco on the third, but it might just be a, a galil scrape by but Oh no Not like this that is all oh, not like this Wow This guy's this guy hits shots when they need him doesn't he right? Paul's gone. That's a nail in the coffin, friend point. Who immediately... Look at this. Push up middle. Will they catch Rainwalker? They won't. They're waiting. They're waiting for info from safe. Once safe says, B-Halls are clear. Watch the minimap. They are going to go and push long. There they go. This is... Oh, this can get hairy because Rainwalker's holding Roy. Yeah, oh, so is Dennis Lowe. So Dennis Hodge just gave up the B control now. Rainwaker is going to come down to timing, but he's holding for it. He's actually still expecting a second player, potentially. They're very much aware of this potential. Dennis Hodge on the flank. He gets Robin. That's long A pressure relieved. Now they can fall off. They can reroute to B. And, well, they are so sure to take that. There it is. One by one by one. They crumble down and skate. They skate on by. Look at those skins. How cool. They pose. pretty cool. I like that. And then they show off. They're moving. Wait, they're moving at the same time. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so what you can do, Roy, okay. fun little fact, right? Side, just because it's relevant to the screen. Yeah. On your main screen, you can change what gun you want your character to hold. So knife, oh. AK. You see that little box underneath your character? It looks like lines with dashes on it. Okay. You click that. You can change your loadout. Select what you want them to hold. You can have them hold your knife. You can have, have oh. them hold a C4. It's a little you neat. You have them hold... Yeah, so that's what reflects on the end screen. But anyway, back to the game. Really close match. Yeah. Um, Dust 2 is super hard, especially when the team just gets such a big lead. Mm -hmm. um, you always feel like you're chasing. It came really close, um, and then it just came down to a couple of big rounds. Um, Skay just really taking their time and doing their best Astralis. What I mean by that right, is yeah. when Astralis get a kill, they sit still. And I think Skay just did a beautiful job of just waiting for those counter plays. Right, I mean, they are they recognize their weaknesses, right? They know that, okay, we put all yep. our numbers towards long gaze. Very likely that there is a flank. We don't have any eyes on short. And we've caught them trying to do that before, right? In the same half. So, yeah, I think they're pretty much ready for that. Dennis Law had the, the flank kept. He kind of kept tabs on the upper B. I think overall that was really well played by Skate. Uh, I really, I love this endpoint roster, though. I have to say, I have to admit, mm -hmm. they're, they're really sick, even though the roster's kind of getting swapped around a little bit. I still have, I still believe in these guys. I still think they can make playoffs, no problem. But for now, that is the conclusion here for us for the European division. We will have NA starting in about four hours. So if you're interested or still awake in Europe, check that out in about four hours. Besides that, please, 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 Haja Lusta, follow our socials, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, follow Keith's Twitter, follow my Twitter, follow Mel. She's our observer producer. She does a great job behind the scenes. For now, we are out of here. Dobre vecher. We'll see you soon in about four hours. Take it easy, everybody.